Are you a nursing student that wants to cut your study time by over 60%? Well, you can head over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube and sign up for free. Hi everybody, Dr. Mike here. In this video, we're gonna take a look at immunity. Now remember, there's two arms of the immune system. There's the innate arm and the adaptive arm. When we look at the innate aspect of the immune system, it's non-specific and it doesn't develop a memory. So it doesn't matter whether it's a bacteria or a virus or a fungi, it's gonna attack it the same way and no memory is developed. So it doesn't remember attacking that virus or bacteria if it happens again. When we look at the adaptive immune system, it is specific, it is targeted, and it does develop a memory. Now this memory where we're talking about are antibodies. Antibodies are parts of the immune system that we create that are targeted to specific parts of a molecule called antigens. Antigens are flags, they're proteins that molecules have on their surface, and they say whether they belong to us or they don't belong to us. If they don't belong to us, antibodies will target them for agglutination and destruction. Now, this memory of antibodies that we develop is called immunity, and there's four different types of immunity. That's what I want to go through with you. The first type of immunity I want to talk about is that of active immunity. Simply, active immunity is where you make the antibodies yourself. Struggling to stay afloat during nursing school? Let me help you achieve our 96% pass rate by heading over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube and signing up for free.